Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Page Setup Manager in AutoCAD. The Page Setup Manager is used to control how drawings are printed or plotted from layout space or paper space. It allows users to define and manage page setup configurations, which include settings like printer set selection, paper size, uh, plot area, scale, um, the plot style table, and the drawing orientation. By using the Page Setup Manager, you can create consistent, reusable print settings for different layouts or projects, saving time and ensuring professional output. The Page Setup Manager is used to control how your drawings will be plotted from paper space. Right now I'm in model space and I've got some simple geometry here, but I want to move to paper space and configure my paper space settings so that it's ready to plot. Down here at the bottom you'll see that I've got model tab, I'm, I'm currently in model space, and I have a layout tab. If I click on this layout tab it takes me to paper space or layout space and it gives me a preview of my paper um, and it also gives me a viewport to see what I see in AutoCAD. Now this viewport is generally something that we're going to erase because it's probably on the wrong layer, it's probably not the right size, and we can go back and put it back in later when we're ready for it. So I'm going to click on that viewport and hit the delete key to get rid of it. The other thing that you'll see here is this dashed line around the edges, and that's there to represent the print area of your paper, so or, or of your printer. So right now my printer cannot print outside of those lines and it's not really what I want so we're going to get rid of that as well. But what I want to do is I want to set up or optimize this paper space for printing. To do so I'll use the Page Setup Manager. Move your mouse down to that Layout tab, right click your mouse and come up here and choose Page Setup Manager. You'll see here that it'll have a list of all of the layouts in your drawing. And because I only have one layout, it only has layout one. But if I had three or four, they would all be listed here. Um, the other thing that it has is it has new, modify, and import. So if I want to create a new one, which is what I want to do, I'm going to click on new. And it's going to prompt me for the name of it. And the name is important. I like to give my layouts names that make sense. So this one I'm going to call it mech-b-pdf. It's a mechanical border and title strip. It's going to be set up and optimized for mechanical types of drawings. Um, the size will be the B size and it's going to be output to a PDF. So I can look at this and know straight away exactly what it is and how I'm going to use it. So I'll choose OK. And what you'll see now is it's saying, hey, my page setup is this mech P PDF. And the rest of this looks just like my print plot menu. So I can go through here and I can set this up. Now for paper space, you'll want to first choose your uh, your output and I like for PDF I like to use the DWG to PDF it's the one that works out best for me um, it works with all it comes with AutoCAD it's it's flawless it works really well the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to choose your paper size um, for the stuff that I do I like to use the ANSI full bleed um, because they allow the page to have you can print all the way up to the edges of the page which is perfect for PDF um, so I'm going to say ANSI Full Bleed B 17 by 11. ANSI Full Bleed B 17 by 11. That one there. And you'll see that it gives me a little preview here. When we're printing from paper space, from layout space, you always want this to choose layout. Oops, let's see here. We're going to modify this. We will always want this to say layout. Oh, darn. Okay, so I'll come down here. ANSI Full Bleed B 17 by 11. We want this right here to always say layout right here. Don't change that to windows or extents or anything else. Your plot offset is how far from the bottom corner of the paper will your zero zero be. And um, you can't plot all the way to that. So you could leave it there and then just remember that zero zero is the bottom left corner or you can set it up however you want. I'm going to set it up right now at 0.25 in the X and 0.25 in the Y. You want to check with your company and make sure, or if you're the person in charge, make sure that you communicate how other people are going to use this. 
In the middle here where it says plot scale, you always want to plot from paper space at a scale of one to one. Don't change that. Top right hand corner, you can choose your pin style, your plot. And I have one here that's all black that I've created. If you want some more information on creating custom plot style tables, search through my videos. You'll see there's one on creating CTBs. The rest of this stuff over here is all pretty much good to go as far as quality goes and plot options and that kind of stuff. So I can choose OK. And you'll see here now that I've got two options in my page setup manager. I've got layout one and then I've got this one that I just created. And what I want to do is I want to apply this one to layout one. So I'll choose set current and you'll see that it takes and it applies it to there. And now <clears throat> my page size has changed. I can choose close. So now when I come in here and if I want to insert a border and title strip, for example, I can go to my insert tool and I can say I want to insert uh, this border and title strip. It's going to go at zero comma zero. And the reason it didn't put it at that bottom left hand corner is because I told it the plot offset was a quarter of an inch in the X and a quarter of an inch in the Y. So I was just planning ahead a little bit for that. But again, you can do that however you want. Now, the thing that really saves time is there's a couple different ways of applying this to other drawings. So I'm going to do a couple things here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this drawing and then I'm going to rename this layout here and I will call it mech B just for the sake of having a name. If I want to use the page setup man, or excuse me, if I want to use design center to copy this to a new drawing I have to have changed this name here it can't still be layout one so I'm changing it to mech B instead of layout one and I'll save that <clears throat> so now if I start a new drawing for example notice that, that this is a new blank drawing if I come in here to layout one <clears throat> and then I right click on my mouse and go to page setup manager it only has the layout one. It doesn't have any of the others in here. But I can use the page or I can use Design Center to copy that mech B from the first drawing into this one. So I'm going to access the page setup manager that's control two and you'll see here that I've got the open drawings tab chosen and in that drawing called page setup manager I've got layouts and you'll see here there's that one called mech B and what I can do is I can just simply cop or grab that, drag and drop and put it in here. And now you'll see that down at the bottom, in addition to layout one, layout two, I also have mech B. And it, what it does is it brings in that page setup manager setting and anything that was in there. So the border and title strip, that's super helpful because now I don't have to insert that border and title strip. The other way of doing it, if I start another new drawing, for example, and I come in here to layout space and right click my mouse, go to page setup manager, is you'll see that there's new modify and then also import. So if I choose import, I can go to that drawing that I've saved, open, and you'll say, hey, which one do I want to insert? In this case, it's that one there. I can choose open. And now it open it brings this in, but it only brings in the settings for the page setup. It doesn't bring in the border and title strip. So I can say set that current and then close. So now you can see there's two different ways of setting up that page setup manager and, and bringing it into new drawings. The last thing to consider here is when I create that new layout, if I don't want to have a viewport there, I can change that setting in the options dialog box. So I'm going to, at the command line, I'll type options, <clears throat> OP for options. And on the display tab over here, on the display tab, down here at the bottom in the lower left hand corner, there's a checkbox that says create a viewport in new layouts. If I uncheck that box and choose OK, now when I create a new viewport or a new layout, it's not going to create that viewport for me and it'll allow me to create it on the proper layer. So a great introduction here to how to use viewports. I hope it's been helpful. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below.